The equations of uniform motion, otherwise known as the SUVAT equations. S is for distance or displacement, don't ask me why. U becomes before V, so U is the initial velocity, V is the final velocity. A is the acceleration and T is the time. This is the kind of problem we need to use the SUVAT equations to solve. There's a cliff which is so high that when a stone is dropped from the top, it takes seven seconds for the stone to hit the water. What we want to find out is how high is the cliff. Also, what is the final speed? So, we use the, the equations of uniform motion. We know the final, we're going to, we need to find the final velocity. U is initial velocity, distance is S, remember. Time is T and acceleration is A. And these are the SUVAT equations. V is equal to U plus AT. S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. Notice that these quantities are scalar values with the exception of time and they have direction. So let's say for convenience that up is positive and down is negative. So in this tall cliff, the stone is dropped off. It takes seven seconds to hit the water. These are the equations. So we basically need to write down what we know and what we don't know. How high is the cliff? What do we know? We know the time it takes. We know the acceleration. We know the initial speed. The time is seven seconds. The acceleration is negative 10 meters per second squared. Remember that it's going downward, so it's negative and the u, which is the initial speed, because we just drop it from rest, is going to be 0 meters per second. What's more important is what we don't know. We don't know the velocity, and we don't need to know the velocity. We also don't know the distance, but we need to find out the distance. Now the interesting thing is, since we don't know the velocity, we don't need to find out the velocity, we use this to eliminate the questions that we're not going to use. So. We don't want anything with the final velocity. There's a final velocity. We don't want that equation. There's a final velocity. We don't want that equation. That leaves us with one equation. S is equal to ut plus half a t squared. So we'll use that. S is equal to ut plus half a t squared. Let's substitute the values. Notice that initial speed is u zero. So the first term disappears. We multiply this out and we get the distance that it falls of 245 meters. Next question is, what is the final speed? What do we know? Time, acceleration, and initial velocity again. What don't we know? S and V. We need to find V, but we don't know S with just this equation. So, S is the thing we don't know, so we need to eliminate that. Where is the S? There's the S, we eliminate that equation, and that one, we eliminate that one too. So we use the equation V is equal to U plus AT. So V is the final velocity that we're finding out. U is initial velocity, which is 0, as we know. A is negative 10, and T is equal to 7. So it's negative 70 meters per second. Negative because it's, it's going downwards. Another example. A car accelerates at 5 meters per second squared from rest. How long does it take it for it to reach 50 meters per second? And how far does it travel in that time? Then it breaks and comes to a stop in five seconds. What is the deceleration? And the second part, part two, is how far does it travel while it decelerates? These are the equations, the SUVAT equations. We know we need to find out uh, the distance in part two. We u is equal to zero because it starts from rest. We know the final velocity is 50, and we know the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. How long does it take? So basically we need to find t, so we eliminate those uh, equations with uh, s in. So you can solve these now. Eliminate the s there. So we find that use the first equation. Anyway, the solutions are as follows. The answer to number one is 10 seconds from using equation one. The equation, question two, the answer is 250 meters using equation three. Part two, 
the solution to number one is 10 meters per second squared using equation one. And the second question is 125 meters using equation two.